Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a doozy for you today. Yes, we just arrived at the Flew Out Hut. The reason that we came to this hut is because there's actually a really iconic photo spot around here and we want to check it out for sunrise, sunset, mm -hmm. pretty much all of the above. So stay tuned and we will show you that. Yeah, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So when you Google the best hike in Zermatt, there are several options available. While we didn't have a ton of time in this beautiful area, we wanted to make the most of it. So that led us to do something a little bit different. We combined multiple hikes to create one mind-blowing super hike that we cannot wait to share with you. This route literally has it all. Reduced gondola fares, sunrise reflections of the Matterhorn, a massive glacier, the perfect combination of hiking and trains, a backcountry hut with unbelievable Matterhorn views, a free mouth-watering four-course dinner, and if you're lucky, the chance to see the famous Zermatt black nose sheep. In this video, we are going to walk you through everything you need to know about this beautiful hike in Zermatt that combines the Flew Alp Hut, the Five Lakes Trail, and the Gorner Glacier. So make sure to stay tuned, like this video, and subscribe to our channel for more adventures. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Kaylee. I'm David. And we run a travel and adventure blog called Made to Explore. We're passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. We've got a ton of travel, van life, hiking, mm -hmm. content. This hike is definitely going to be on our Switzerland guide. So <laughs> check that out if you haven't already. We'll link it below and up in the corner. It's going to be sweet. Everything to do with traveling in Switzerland, hiking, Transportation, transportation, accommodation. accommodation, camping, where to eat, how to save money. Yeah. We really put everything that we know about traveling a country into mm -hmm. these guides and it's an instant download. So make yeah. sure to check it out. Definitely. Now let's start from the beginning. This journey begins at the iconic mountain village of Zermatt, which is nestled in the Swiss Alps. There are a few different ways to get to this car-free village, but we chose to park in Tash and take the train to Zermatt for eight Swiss francs per person. We left Zermatt at about 3 p.m. to begin our first leg of the journey. Zermatt to the Fluelp Alpine Hut with a stop along the way at Stella Sea Lake. To get up here, you're going to go to the funicular in Zermatt, which is fairly close to the main train station that goes back and forth from Tash. And you're gonna get on the funicular. It's an interesting train. You're gonna go up to Sanega, and then you're gonna go from Sanega up to Blaherd. And then there's also another lift from Blaherd up to Rothorn, but you're not gonna take that because that gains quite a bit more elevation. We're gonna get off at Blaherd. You can hike up to this hut, but um, we're a little bit tight on time, and I've also got a little bit of a cold, and we're kind of feeling a little bit lazy. So. We are taking the gondola part of the way and the train. It was 33 francs in total and per person. And honestly, today, this is really worth it because it's a lot of elevation that we would be climbing up. But we were just talking about how you don't see any of these views from Zermatt. You can see the Matterhorn from Zermatt, but like all of these peaks and glaciers around us, you can't see those until you get above the tree line. So definitely, definitely during your time in Zermatt, come up here. If you wanted to hike all the way from Zermatt to the Fluelp Hut, that would be possible, but it would be approximately 10.3 kilometers with 1,100 meters of elevation gain one way. It's quite a bit like we would do it at home, but it's a little bit tough here because there's gondolas everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's um, definitely easy to be lazy and take the gondola. <laughs> The option we chose that includes the gondolas cuts that hike down to 2.3 kilometers with only 100 meters of elevation gain. We just got off the gondola at Blaherd and it was beautiful. Like the views are yeah. phenomenal. The whole valley, Matterhorn, the glaciers, it's spectacular. The start of this trail is also part of the Five Lakes Trail, which is one of the most popular hikes in Zermatt area. Yeah, after a little more research though, we discovered that the first lake, Stella Sea, was the most picturesque and probably going to be the most worth our time. There's the hut, and there's lake. 
Stella C Lake. Stella C Lake, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, it's a pretty famous lake around here too. It is the lake that you get those really nice reflections with the Matterhorn in the background. We are hoping to do that. Uh, wake up early tomorrow, fingers crossed it's clear. Just excited, I think we're just gonna take our time, take some photos, very, Enjoy the very views. mild hike. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is nice for us today. <laughs> Excited about it. <laughs> Get this, guys. Out our window, we have very clear views of the Matterhorn. It's stunning. And we just booked it actually last night. Yeah, we and it's a Friday night. Matt. Yeah. So. so we got Matterhorn views, and it turned out to be 260 francs. And that actually includes breakfast and dinner. And that's for two people. Yeah. So. Pretty good price, actually. Yeah. Really good. So we're. So excited to be here. We each get a separate bed. They don't do queen beds in huts, I don't. Huts are always separate single beds every time. There's yeah. actually, this is like quite a nice hut. There's bathrooms on every floor. There's running water, a shower. Power. Yeah, like we have a light a and a plug-in in our room. We didn't even bring anything to plug in because mm -hmm. we were like, oh, we won't be able to plug it in. Yeah. So we are going to go enjoy the delicious four course meal that comes with our stay and then head to bed because we have an early wake up planned for tomorrow. Good night. Sweet dreams. All right, so big morning just happened. We got some like amazing photos, videos, woke up this morning. I woke up at four o'clock, looked out the window, wanted to do some star shots, um, got a couple. We'll post them right now. Click, click. And then <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee got up. We got up at like 6.20 and then I woke up at like 6.15 and it was the cutest thing ever. David was just sitting, looking out the window like a kid on Christmas morning at the Matterhorn. It was so, so excited. Uh, we had like a perfect sunrise. Like it was amazing. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down One thing we did want to mention too is when we went down to the lake, Stella Sea Lake, um, there is an early morning gondola that a whole bunch of people arrived on to watch sun rise and hit the Matterhorn there. So I would check that out. If you don't want to spend the night here, you still want to get sunrise at Stella Sea Lake. That's yeah, the best way to do it. Yeah, it is possible. Um, and a lot of those people actually, I think, came up to the hut for breakfast. And yeah. you can just pay like a raid yeah. and come up and get some breakfast and coffee and stuff. So yeah, the hut was a little bit pricey, but honestly, super, Not super bad. worth Not it. Bad. And yeah. if you were going to stay in Zermatt it's... and then take the gondola up, it'd probably be a similar price anyways. Yeah, we just checked out of the hut and we are heading over to Gornergrat Glacier. Yeah. Instead of going back down into Zermatt, we're going to kind of hike, see how it goes. <laughs> hike around 
a couple valleys and then hop on the train. This was the uncharted section of our hike, so we rooted ourselves to the Rifleberg train station and followed maps.me just to be sure. In total, the trail from the Fluop Hut to the Rifleberg train station was 7.4 kilometers with 325 meters of elevation gain. To our delight, this stretch of the journey was loaded with killer views and was super well maintained. There was even a long stretch where we hiked on a wide gravel road. It was along this section that we encountered the famous black nosed sheep. They didn't really bat an eye at us, so we just sat and watched them graze with Matterhorn views in the background. It was an incredible, quintessential experience to have in Zermatt. From the Rifleberg train station, we hopped on the Gornergrat Bon and rode it the rest of the way to the Gorner Glacier. The Gornergrat Bon is 110 Swiss francs per person round trip from Zermatt, which felt absurd to us. That was one of the most expensive trains that we saw in the country. Um, but our one-way ticket from the Rifleberg train station was only 28 Swiss francs per person. It is possible to continue hiking all the way up to the Gornergrat train station. From this train station, this option would add 3.4 kilometers and 564 more meters of elevation gain. The Gornick Glacier is one of the most famous and picturesque glaciers in the entire country. It is over 12 kilometers long and between one to one and a half kilometers wide. The area is full of marvelous views. Like everywhere you look, it is crazy. There's stunning ice formations and you can even see the Matterhorn on a clear day. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Once arriving at Gornergrat, we were immediately overwhelmed by the crowds. This is the blessing and the curse of the gondolas in Switzerland, accessibility. So we hiked along the ridge for some peace and quiet where we found a different trail that led us down beside the glacier. There are some hotels, I think, lots of like buildings, restaurants right up oh, at yeah. the top of this glacier. It's yeah. pretty commercialized. That's where everyone hangs out too. Yeah, it's very busy. <laughs> um, but we just hiked down a little ways down the path and there's pretty much no one down here. Yeah. So definitely would recommend hiking around if you have the energy and the time to do it. Absolutely. This is not necessary. You can always take the train back down to Zermatt, but if you have any hike left in you at this point, we would highly recommend doing this. The crowds dispersed, it was mostly downhill, and you just got so close to the glacier, it was insane. Our plan was to hike down until we got tired and then hop back on the train and buy a one-way ticket back to Zermatt. <music> top of the Gornergrat station, down along the glacier, and then to the Rifleberg train station was about 5.5 kilometers with 100 meters of elevation gain, and the price from the Rifleberg station back to Zermatt on the Gornergrat Bahn was 38 Swiss francs per person. Theoretically, you could hike all the way from the Rifleberg station back to Zermatt, but it would be an extra 6.2 kilometers and 960 meters of elevation loss, which sounded terrible to our knees at the time. In total, this itinerary includes a day and a half, 16.8 kilometers, 603 meters of elevation gain, and 99 Swiss francs per person in gondola or train tickets. That wraps up this video though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, check out our other videos on Switzerland, check out our travel guide, link below. Yeah, we have everything you need to be mm -hmm. set up for a sweet trip through Switzerland. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> don't forget to use it and we will see you next week. See you in the next one.